In English, we have some words that mean one thing, but if you add the letters D-I-S to the word, it makes a new word that means the opposite of the original word. In this English lesson, I'll teach you a few of them. The first two words I want to teach you are the words agree and disagree. When you agree with someone, it means you think the same way as them. If I said pizza is the best food in the world and you think the same thing, you would say that you agree with me. But maybe you think that hamburgers are the best food in the world. In that case, we would say that you disagree with me. So by simply adding three letters to the front of the word, we make a new word that means the opposite. So if you think pizza is the best food in the world, you agree with me. If you think something else is, then you disagree with me. Let's talk about honest and dishonest. If someone is honest, they tell the truth all the time. If someone is dishonest, they probably lie sometimes. When you buy flowers from Jen, she is honest. If she says there are 12 flowers in the bunch of flowers in the bouquet, you will get 12 flowers. Sometimes you might even get 13 or 14. But if Jen was dishonest, she would say, this is a dozen flowers. This is a bouquet of 12 flowers. And you might get home and count them and find out there are only 10. That would be shocking. So an honest person tells the truth. An honest person in business always gives you what they say they are giving you. And a dishonest person will lie. And maybe in business, they'll try to cheat you a little bit. The next two words I want to tell you about are the words appear and disappear. Let me think, is there a good way to demonstrate that? Maybe I can disappear. As you can see, I am no longer in the video. You're just seeing the barn that I was standing in front of. But now I have appeared again. Now you can see me. So once again, disappear means to suddenly not be visible and to appear is to suddenly be visible again. The next two words are the words advantage and disadvantage. When someone has an advantage, it means it's easier for them to do something because of something they've already done, something they've already learned, or something they already have. When someone has a disadvantage, it means it's harder for them to do something because of something they lack or something they didn't do. Here's a great example. If two teams were playing each other and one team had rested the night before and the other team had played another game the night before, the team that had rested has an advantage. The team that didn't rest, the team that played the night before, has a disadvantage. So when you have an advantage, it makes something easier for you. When you have a disadvantage, it makes it harder for you. The next two words are obey and disobey. And you can use this to talk about a person or an animal that does what you say or doesn't do what you say. In my classroom, I like it when my students obey the rules. I don't like it when they disobey the rules. I like it when they sit in their proper seats and when they raise their hands when they have a question. When we're outside with the dogs, we like it uh, when the dogs obey us. Walter sometimes likes to run up and jump on people. We don't want him to do that. When Jen calls him, she wants him to obey. She wants him to come. She doesn't want him to disobey and run and jump on someone who's visiting us. So. To obey means to listen to what someone's saying. To disobey means to not listen at all. Okay, I'm going to teach you the next two, like and dislike, and then I'll explain why we don't actually use one of them very often. When you like something, it means it's something that makes you happy. When you dislike something, it doesn't make you happy. It makes you sad or grouchy or angry. I like living in the country. I dislike living in the city. I like living in the country because it's peaceful and quiet. I dislike living in the city because it's kind of loud and sometimes there's pollution. So we do use the word like, by the way. We don't often use the word dislike. Instead, we usually say don't like. I like living in the country. I don't like living in the city. Um, that would probably be a more accurate way to use it. But you will see the word dislike. It is something that is used. You might hear it on TV or you might see it when you're reading a book. So when you like something, it makes you happy. When you dislike something, it makes you sad, grouchy, or a little bit angry. So you can see this piece of farm equipment has some hoses. When I back my tractor up, I need to connect those hoses to the tractor. When I'm done using this piece of farm equipment, I disconnect the hoses. When you connect something, it means you put it together. When you disconnect it, it means you take it apart. We sometimes also use the phrasal verb hook up. I hook up this piece of farm equipment to my tractor. 
I hook up the hoses to the tractor and I unhook the piece of farm equipment when I'm done using it. The last two words are satisfaction and dissatisfaction. When there's a lot of satisfaction, it means people are happy. When there's a lot of dissatisfaction, it means people are angry or sad or just not very happy at all. When governments do things that their citizens like, you have a lot of satisfaction in your country. When governments do things that people don't like, you have a lot of dissatisfaction. So once again, when you have a lot of satisfaction, people are certainly happy. And when you have a lot of dissatisfaction, people are the opposite. Well, thank you so much for watching this little English lesson. I hope it helped you learn a few new English vocabulary words that you can use in your next English conversation. If this is your first time here, don't forget to click that red subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And if you have some time, why don't you stick around and watch another English lesson?